my channel for today's video it is a lengthy one so if you guys are not into long videos I suggest you guys to click out now but I'm gonna be doing my perfume collection and I have a lot I wasn't gonna include body sprays because I felt like um, there's not is that the same I was gonna do like a perfume collection and then a body spray collection but why split up why can't I just all do it all together I mean it's not the end of the world if I do it all together so I'm going to start off with the body sprays first and I'm going to give you guys my opinion because not all of them I bought like super wanting them. Some of them I just bought because it was like two for one or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys all of my body sprays which is in this container and this is just body sprays you guys. This is not even the perfumes so let's jump right in because there's a lot. So the first one that I see standing up here is this one. This is the pink body spray and this is in the shade black current and peony and I like this spray because it's very girly very feminine I like to use this spray when I'm getting out of the shower so when you take a shower and you just spray this it leaves like a nice little mist inside of your skin it absorbs it really nicely um also, when I'm going to like the gym and stuff like that, I like to use body spray instead of perfume because perfume has like, it's a little stronger so it when you sweat and everything like that, the mix of it isn't really nice, trust me. So it does change like the formula a little bit of this, like the scent. I don't know how to explain it, I think it's like a hormonal kind of thing, but this body spray is really great. Now the next one is the same kind of concept, it's the... Um, but this one is my favorite scent. Like this one, it, I got it first, so it's a little bit more wasted. But this one is so good. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys ever heard of like... There's like this Ralph Lauren perfume in this orange and I could never find it. I had it when I was younger. It was like citrus something and I could never find it ever again. So when I went into Victoria's Secret and I, and I saw this spray, I was like, oh my god, this smells just like that perfume so of course I had to buy it oh and I love it ever like this scent actually lasts sorry this scent actually lasts a long time after spraying it it's not like those other sprays that you spray it on in like five minutes you don't smell it anymore this one you actually do smell it and this is the mandarin and coconut scent and this is also by pink by Victoria's Secret the next perfume I'm gonna talk about is teas and this perfume smells just, I mean this body spray, this body mist, sorry, smells just like a perfume that I'm going to show you guys and that's why I bought it. But when I use this perfume, this body mist, I feel like I'm cheating on that perfume a little bit. But I did buy it because it smells just like it. Um, and this is the New Ortiz. This one, it's kind of like a strong, like a mist kind of like sugar smell. It doesn't smell like a fruity scent. It's something very strong and very, this smells like if you're over like 25 years old, which I really do enjoy because I don't feel like I smell like a little girl. Um, the next perfume, which is a girly one and I'm almost running out of so you guys can see that. I'll probably, you'll probably see this in the empties video soon. And this one does smell very feminine, very fruity. Um, it doesn't really say too much about it because this is not like a perfume. <laughs> this is a body mist. But this one is also perfect. I used to carry this in my purse um, when I was going to the gym or when I'm going to yoga. And when I get out, I just spray it on and you're good to go. You smell nice and fresh and clean. Now the next scent I'm going to be talking about is this pink with a splash fruit and bright. Fruity and bright. And it's exactly what it says. It smells very fruity. I really do like this one. Um, the only reason why I don't, I haven't finished it is because I like it so much. Have you guys ever <laughs> experienced that? When you like a product so much, you don't want to use like the last bit. But I am going to finish it and I'll put it in an empties video. But I really do love this, perf this body spray. It actually lasts me a long time. I'm not even going to lie. It lasted me probably like six months of me spraying it over and over and over again every day. 
Um, the next one that I'm going to be talking about is, you guys can see like a, a routine. I love body sprays from Victoria's Secret. The next one is this very sexy touch. Now this one is by far my favorite Victoria's Secret body mist ever. This one is the 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 pink one i do love the red one too the red one was the first one that i liked um i have it in an empties video that i recorded but i haven't uploaded yet but you guys will see it and it's so good but this one so beats that this is like the top like i don't know this one smells like a grown woman but it also smells fruity so it's like a grown like fruity kind of scent i don't know how to explain it but i really do like it and this one is Amber Romance, and when I was younger, I really liked like this garden thing. I think it was because I was younger and I was on a budget, but now that I'm older, I hate this smell. So, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's because I used it so much when I was little, but now I hate it, and you guys want to know TMI? I only use this in the bathroom, in the toilet, when I use bath. So that's why this is... <laughs> almost empty but I don't use this on my skin if that helps clarify what I was talking about and it was kind of gross kind of TMI the next scent that I'm going to talk about is the Victoria's Secret bombshell body mist and this one is full only because I already went through one of these and this is a repurchase but I'm kind of over the scent already <laughs> I get over things kind of quickly but this one smells so good it's not a fruity scent so I don't know how to explain it it's kind of like a strong um, it has like a little spice in it. I don't know how to explain it too much, but this one smells really good. The only thing is that I think that it smells a little masculine. That's what it is about this scent. It smells a little masculine, but it smells really strong. If you guys have, haven't been able to tell, I love really strong scents. Like, um, scents that you can smell from like a mile away. And the next spray, which is like completely gone, I just have like a little squirt in here, is Dove Go Fresh Body Mist. And I bought the deodorant with this mist, and that's why I kind of still have some, because I ran out of deodor deodorant, and I like to mash my scents. So this I used to use when I was out of the shower, and I would just spray it like on my neck, on my body. Like I would spray this all over my body, completely over my body. And it just smelled really good when I was going to lay in my clean sheets. I just love that, that, that feeling. Now this one is the Carried Away, and this is by um, Bath and Body Works. And this one does smell like straight up candy. This is like literally candy. And it, I really do like this spray though, but I haven't finished it because, I don't know. I'll probably finish all of these and I'll do like an empties video, <laughs> but I really do like this one. It smells really good as well. And then the next one I'm going to be talking about is the Supermodel by Victoria's Secret. And this is Sparkle. So this one I like to use mainly in the summer because it has glitter. So I like to use it when I am going out in the summer or when I, especially when I go to the beach. But this one smells so good. I know this one is personal favorite to some people that I actually really know. Um, this is really great. If you find like the actual perfume version of this, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't use this one in the winter because I'm all covered up and you won't see the sparkle. So like what's the point? But in the summer, this is perfect. Now this one is also fighting the spot of one of my favorite sprays. And this is the body mist. The body mist. So this is just the body mist. But I feel like this one smells so clean. There's like no fruit in this whatsoever. It's like a nice clean smell it smells really good it smells like a clean feminine woman like i really do like this this smells like a natural scent instead of like a fruity fake scent i don't know how to explain that and the next thing i have in here is a harvey prince hello perfume this one also this kind of smells like New Ortiz and this one I got in my Ipsy bag and I really did like it because it reminded me of that same perfume and I'm going to show you guys the perfume now because I keep talking about it. It is the Viva La Juicy perfume. This one is by far my favorite perfume in the history of the world. I will repurchase this perfume over and over and over again. The only reason why now it's like running out is because I have so many much more perfume that I have to go through before I buy another one. But I don't want to 
waste it because I love it so much. So after I've gone through all of these, then I will repurchase the Viva La Juicy again. But I can't throw this out because I just love the bottle. Everything about this perfume is me. The scent is really kind of strong. It smells sweet in a way. It smells like a grown woman. I really do love this perfume. The next perfume that I'm going to talk about, you guys probably saw on my blog if you guys do check it out. And this is the Olola perfume. As you guys can see, look at this pretty packaging. It's like a nice flower. And this perfume is by Marc Jacobs. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like when you look at the packaging, it kind of gives you the illusion that this perfume smells like a flower but it doesn't at all it actually smells like candy and it smells really good very feminine this is actually a perfume that's good for younger people instead of like the other scents that i was talking about this one is a good young person perfume like if you're in high school or even like your first couple of years in college i do recommend this perfume it does smell really good um the only thing i will say about this perfume as well as the viva la juicy you have to smell it on your skin before you buy it because even though that perfume is really good on me, I smelled it on other people and I was like, ooh, what are you wearing? And they tell me what it is and I'm like stunned. It all depends on your chemical um, mixture. So some perfumes would smell good on other people and not on other person. So I know, I think it's Jaclyn Hill, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, who said that the Viva La Juicy smells really good but it makes it smell like BO on them. Um, which does happen a lot. I feel like if you're like a sweaty person and you put on the Viva La Juicy, no offense if I smelt it on you and I said it smelled bad, but that's why I didn't like it. It was probably your um, BO. <laughs> and the next perfume that I'm going to be talking about is another um, Juicy Couture perfume and this is the Olala. I feel like Juicy Couture is so winning with their packaging because all of their perfumes are really girly and they have like little bows and it's very feminine and um, you guys will see that because I have more of the Juicy Couture perfumes. Now this one was the Olala and I love Oh my god, this one smells so good. This one does not smell like Viva La Juicy at all. This one smells really feminine, very floral. Um, this one is probably perfect for the summertime because it's very, um, it's like a, you just, it smells more like a body spray than a perfume, but I love this perfume. It lasts all day, trust me, and it's really good. I really do like this perfume. And keeping up with the Juicy Couture kind of flow, I have the Love peace and juicy I think it's called something like that this one smells way different than the other ones this one smells like clean linen I'm not even gonna lie it smells like clean linen but it smells so good if you guys haven't checked it out you guys should because I got it from TJ Maxx for like $20 I believe or 30 or 15 I don't know I'll link down my TJ Maxx haul down below where you guys can see me haul just this one and a couple of other things that I will be talking about in future videos, so I'll link that down below. But anyways, this perfume smells so good, but it doesn't suit everyone. I know not everyone will like this packaging. Oh, uh, yeah, let me show you guys the packaging. It is so freaking cute. Like, look at it. See that? And then here has, like, little love peace sign. It's so cute. I love Juicy Couture packaging, I swear. This one is the classic... Juicy Couture perfume so you guys can probably tell by like the color of the perfume that this is an original classic because now they don't come this yellow and this one I gotta say is not my favorite but it does smell really good I used to use this perfume especially when I was going to like church or when I'm going to like interviews because it smells like a grown woman and I don't mean like a grown woman like 25 I mean like 30 and up um but the packaging doesn't call out to people like that but it does smell really good it smells really really clean I feel like this smells like a classic version of peace love and juicy this perfume is really good though I really do like it and can we just talk about the packaging hold on let me get out the frame a little bit look at this packaging of this perfume isn't it like the prettiest perfume you've ever seen and when I look at the packaging of this perfume I feel like a princess it looks like a princess's perfume. I think it's just so cute. And I never take it out the box because my room is a huge mess. And I think that a perfume like this needs to stand like on its own. It looks like royalty. I just can't get over it. Now I'm going to go back to Victoria's Secret because I have a Victoria's Secret perfume. And this one is the Bombshell Diamond. So you guys can see that it comes with um, like this thing here. And I think this is supposed to be like a ring. But... 
let's be real, who's gonna really use this? And this perfume kind of smells icy, I think that's the word to use, and I think we can kind of tell by like the frosted um, packaging. It does smell very icy. I have used it a bit, I'm not gonna lie, I do really like this perfume, but it has like a little spice to it that is kind of subtle, but if you're... I think what happened was I wore it to go to the gym, and it was... It had like a little spice in it that did not mix with my, 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 um, BL. So it, it kind of turned me off a little bit. So that's why I, I don't use this perfume as much. But if you guys are in Victoria's Secret, check this perfume out because you will like it. If you smell it and you try it on like your wrist, you will definitely like this perfume. I definitely like this perfume. I just wish that it didn't smell the way that it does on me. <laughs> um, the next perfume that I'm going to be talking about is the, ooh, <laughs> is the Chance by Chanel perfume. And hello, how can I not talk about Chanel? It is a perfume video, right? And this one is the um, green packet, like the green, like, not the green one. This is the pink packaging. So this one is like the original one. And this one smells really, really, um, like, not, like, musky. Not musty, musky, like, with a Y. <laughs> it smells, um, very musky. It is a really good, um, perfume. I really do like it. And this is perfect for going to work. And going to church. Going anywhere where it's gonna be kind of, or any, like, um, elegant gatherings I always 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 use this perfume and I don't know about you guys but I feel like perfumes can kind of change your your day in a way so every time I wear this perfume I swear I don't know if it's like my mind I think it is my mind but it just so happens that great things come with this perfume and I'm not even like lying I I don't know, when I feel like my day needs to be perfect, I wear this perfume and somehow it is a good day. So it's probably my mind, but I really do like it. And now I only have two, three, three, three more perfumes um, with this one included. This one is my Versace Black Noir. And this one my sister got for me when on, I think it was like two Christmases ago. And I love this perfume. This one is definitely a deeper kind of nighttime look. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> this is definitely a deeper nighttime perfume. It smells like, let me, let me smell it. Hold on. Oh, I love this perfume. This is a strong perfume. So a little goes a very long way. Um, it is very, very easy to smell. It's super exaggerated with this perfume, but I just love this perfume. I really do. Um, oh, it's Crystal Noir. Sorry, so it's black, it's black crystal. Um, yeah, there's, n there's no words that I can use to describe this perfume. I definitely use this when I'm going out, like, at night. Um, when you leave it on your skin and you let it sit for a while, like, once, like, the alcohol goes away a little bit and it, it gives you, like, this nice... Um, smell you smell very very feminine which I love I love that this gives me a nice feminine smell especially for nighttime like if you're going to dinner or you're going on a date I think this one would be the perfect perfume and actually one of my mom's friends came over and she was getting ready to go on a date and she wore this perfume and they loved it so if you guys are going on dates I highly recommend this perfume because it smells so good and I love it now this perfume I I cannot stand this perfume honestly um I think they got it for me because I love this man his name you know Pitbull this is the Pitbull perfume and I really don't recommend this scent to anybody the packaging well hold on let's talk about the packaging really quick this packaging is so unique and it looks like a liquor I'm not even gonna lie it but this is for the perfume itself, it doesn't smell terrible. I'm not going to like tell you guys it smells terrible, but it's not my favorite at all. But um, I do have it, so we'll see what happens with it. <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, it smells kind of... It smells like... I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we're moving on from that one because I can't even describe that scent. I just know I don't like it. Now we're gonna talk about my newest doll, my Charlie, my darling baby. Hold on, I'm gonna get off this 
the thing so you guys can see it. It's just a clear packaging. And this is the Burberry Sheer Perfume. Brit Sheer, I think it's called. Oh my god, this perfume is everything to me. Oh, it smells so good. This is such a perfect perfume for every day. Like, you can wear this perfume every single day, no matter what event you're going to, this perfume would work. I went to Bloomingdale's with my mom to go get my sister's birthday present. I actually got her a chance perfume as well, but not this one. I got her their green packaging. And I walked by the counter and I saw the packaging and I was like, oh cute, a little cute pink Burberry perfume. I have to smell it. So I smelled it and I was like, oh my god, if you love me, you'll buy this for me. And she did because, and this was my Christmas present, if you guys checked out my, um, Chris, what I got for Christmas blog. But holy cow, this perfume has quickly made its way to my top perfumes. So let me sum up my top perfumes for you guys because I know it kind of got hard to tell. So this is definitely like number three. Okay, no, I'm lying. This is definitely number two. Number one is Viva La Juicy. Then it's this one. Then it has to be Chans and then Versace. Those are my favorite. Like those are my top four perfumes. If I didn't have any other perfumes, I think I could live with those four perfumes and be good to go. Yeah, so that was my... I mean, I guess it wasn't that long. Only like 30 minutes, but we'll cut it down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want like links and stuff to some of these, because I know it's kind of a hefty, heavy list. I'm not going to put links to everything, but I will give you guys like an overall um, place to buy all of these perfumes. Most of them you can find at Bloomingdale's or Victoria's Secret, of course. So I'll link those down below. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!